I asked three of my four kids a question. And the question that I asked them was basically along the lines of, is it fair for children to experience an unpleasant consequence as a result of their behaviour? And in doing so, does the experiencing of an unpleasant consequence harm or benefit the child? Now, I think it's really important to say here that I didn't preload my kids with any answers. They didn't even have to answer it if they didn't want to. One of them wasn't in the house when I did it, which is why there's only three. But I asked them and I wanted their genuine opinion, their honest opinion, because it's fine sitting there and thinking what you think, but it's important to hear it from a child's point of view. And the answers, um, they didn't surprise me, really. Um, But what I found more interesting than the answers that were given was the behaviour of my children whilst they were answering. And if that was an animal, that you were putting an animal in a situation, a dog in a situation, and you were to look at the body language of, a, of the dog, you would infer discomfort, um, an unhappiness, an unease. There's displacement behaviours being shown as well, simply through answering a question to a camera. And the reason that I bring that up is that everything... Everything that goes against what you would normally be doing, everything which you consider to be unusual and puts you somehow on the spot, involves some level of um, emotional or, or you know, cognitive or discomfort. Um, there, it all sort of like will impact in some way upon you because you're now required to do something which you weren't prepared to do, which you didn't expect to do. And until you've got comfortable with doing it, And until you understand exactly how it is that you go about doing it, your body will give you away. And that's what's happening here with my kids is that you'll have a look and you'll see the movement with them on their arms, uh, you know, where they're scratching on their arms and displacement behaviours that are coming out. But the important thing is is, is to then think, has my children's welfare been negatively compromised as a result of asking them a question? And of course it hasn't. However, if you were to look at the videos of them and use those as snapshots in isolation, you could very easily come to an entirely different conclusion. But have a listen to what they say. I found it incredibly interesting. We've been asked to answer the question, should children be allowed to experience unpleasant consequences for their bad behaviour and does it help them or harm them? And I thought that it can help them and they should be allowed to experience it. Because, for example, if you did, if I did something bad, and my and my mum didn't shout at me for it, then I wouldn't know that I was doing it wrong, and I could do it again because I'm not being punished for it, and I wouldn't know that what I was doing is wrong and that I should stop it. And if your mum never shouts at you for anything, then you'll never know what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. And if she's always If she's always shouting at you, then you won't know what you're doing right and what you should do and what you shouldn't do. Um, Our dad has asked me a... Well, my dad has asked me a question saying, should children be allowed to experience unpleasant consequences for their behaviour? Does it help them or harm them? (coughs) No, I think it depends. Like, if they... um, So say they ran into the middle of the road um, and just stood there and they didn't shout and the mum or dad was there and they didn't shout at them, then they don't know if that's right or wrong. Or say they um, were doing really, really bad stuff, they don't know whether that's right or wrong if no one ever shouts at them or says, yeah, that's wrong or grams them and takes stuff off them for a week or so. Um, and but if you always are shouting at them, it can kind of it probably they probably probably <laughs> they probably don't know what's right and what's wrong, um. So yeah, but it can harm them if you're if you go over the top with it, um. So say you took something, say a child took something and put it in the trolley that they weren't asked to do. And then you started hitting them or they, you started really, really shouting at them really, really loud and did it four days after and carried on shouting at them. Not, obviously not straight up. Um, then it could probably harm them and it would probably be a bit mean, but yeah. My dad has asked me to answer this question. Should children be allowed to experience unpleasant consequences for their behaviour? 
does it help them or harm them? Um, I think that it helps them because, say, like you went, to, you saw a dog and you went to hug the dog, and the dog suddenly turned around, bit you, or growled at you, and you got scared. That's an unpleasant consequence for hugging a dog, and you know now that you should probably like ask the owner to pat it to see if it's nice and not just with dogs like with knives or something if you just like playing with them and you go like that and you cut your knife on your hand you would know then to not do that because people think it's bad but it's not bad it's it's fine to experience a unpleasant consequence because it helps you to not do that and it keeps you safe.